Can you hear that? I think I have to keep my hands here. Pockets! And then the back is just, no. I just, mm-mm. Okay, okay. Oh, room for activities. Off to fight crime. Hi everyone, welcome back. We are gonna be doing, wait for it, wait for it. A nasty gal haul. Now, for some reason, I always forget that they exist. I don't know why. It's like, I'm going through, I'm looking at all the different websites. I've been obsessed with H&M and they have had a firm grasp on my bank account currently. But we're going into a no buy soon. Get ready, get excited. What was I saying? H&M. I've been shopping there exclusively and I was like, let me check out the other sites. Like, what do they have to offer moi? I do also have another smaller box from the team over at Vush. Now, I talked about their product in a recent video, Products I Can't Live Without, and you guys know I advocate for self-love, and a big part of that, in my opinion, is self-pleasure. So this is the Empress 2 Clitoral Vacuum Stimulator. I feel like women's pleasure is very taboo even to this day in 2021, and I want to break that stigma, and so does Vush. So they have gifted me a 50% off discount code so you guys can shop on their website. Definitely check it out. I highly recommend them. This? Okay, this though? This. You, you can't beat it. I'm just letting you know. So if you yourself have a clitoris or you have a partner that has a clitoris, they will, they will thank you for this. I'm just letting you know. All right, let's get into the haul. I'm going to be rating these outfits. If I think the quality is good, the style is like to my liking, and if it fits a plus size body because I'm a 16 to 18 to 20 honestly it just depends <laughs> but I will give you guys all the information and we will rank them I kind of don't want to change out of these pants because like look at them like aren't they the cutest they're from Walmart but let's try on this plus size satin full skater skirt now, I really don't wear a lot of skirts, but I wanted to try it out and see if I actually like it. It actually feels like good quality. Definitely would need an iron, just coming right out of the packaging. It's a size 18. And I do like the elastic band because then you can kind of cinch it in. Starting off pretty good. I like that it's high-waisted. Usually with skirts, I'm worried when they're high-waisted because then they don't cover the booty. But this is really fun. I don't think I would pair it with this top. This one is from Shein. It's kind of like a little cardigan tied up thing. <laughs> I don't know, it's not really a shirt. But yeah, I think the black with the black actually works because it's a different texture. Let me just tie it up for you guys so you get the full effect. I would say the quality off of first impressions, it's like not double lined or anything, but it's not going to be see-through because of the satin. Um, I'm sure it's like a faux satin, it's like a polyester blend. So I would give the quality like a 7 out of 10, and then the fit, it fits, so 10 out of 10. And if it's my style, I don't really know. I think I'm very undecided, maybe like an 8 out of 10. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I think this would actually be very versatile for fall as well if you paired it with some tights. Now we have plus size poplin puff sleeve skater dress. I'm always so wary of buying like white dresses because they make them out of this weird um like shower curtain material and based off of just taking it out of the packaging i would say that is true um i wish you could feel this it gets a zero out of ten for the quality i would have to steam the living hell out of this thing just to make it look somewhat presentable but we'll try it on and see if i change my mind uh 
I'm like halfway in and I'm just regret. Okay. It just, I would feel so embarrassed like just walking because can you hear that? Like it's so bad. Like I'm over dramatizing, but how can you be comfortable? <laughs> the fit is very strange. It's very loose up here. Maybe because I just don't have the tatas to fill it out, but moving along. I'd say the only thing that works on this dress is I like how it cinches in right here. I did size up to a 20 and I think that's why it's so big but I didn't want to run into the problem where I couldn't even get it on. I feel like I'm wearing a costume, if that makes sense. Like the quality of it just ruined it for me. <laughs> and I think I really go into it where I'm like, oh, it's gonna look so good because the model looks great. But after doing Pretty Little Thing and like other websites that are fast fashion, I realized over time like white and dresses does not work. Like they, <laughs> They have not gotten it down at all. Definitely pass if you're trying to live out your cottage core dreams. Definitely go to ASOS because they have good quality. Another dress. Now, I have been eyeing this for a little bit. I've been looking at different kind of um, plaid dresses. Already, the material feels a lot better. And let me see. I did get this in an 18. It looks very large though. Okay, okay. Oh, I feel like I heard something rip. That's not a good sign. Again, I'm dealing with the straps being pretty big, but not too, too big. Oh, I like it. And it has pockets. Pockets for the win. Okay, I had to show it like all of the glory. Do you see? It's long, it's beautiful. I think I like it. <laughs> okay, the style definitely gives me more like 1950s because of the picnic checkered print. Do you see all this room? Room for activities. <laughs> I might have to have the shoulders taken in. What do you guys think? I'm giving style 10 out of 10, quality mm, 7 out of 10, 6 out of 10. <laughs> Are like corset tops still in? Oh, wow. It does actually have that material that they put on strapless um, dresses so that it stays up like the little rubbery bit. You know what I'm talking about? And then it does have a zipper in the back. So I'm not sure if this is gonna be too big or too small. Um, I wish that they had the prices on this because I can't remember how much I spent, but I always use Honey, um, which sounds like an advertisement, but it's not. I highly recommend downloading Honey. I have saved so much money especially because of my job like you know doing hauls and things like i have saved money and then they give you gift cards for it so i'll leave my link down below because i think you guys get like ten dollars so there you go okay in a perfect world i would put on a strapless bra but i'm just a little lazy oh i don't know if this will fit i really hate zippers in the back that is as much as I can get it up. I really should have sized up. <sighs> Am I red? I feel hot. Oh, this is cute though. Do you guys like it? Oh, I do. I do like it. I think I would like it a little bit more if it had more ruching. Like if it was draped more. Because right now it kind of feels like a, like a towel. And then the back is just, no. It does have that same material though that makes me feel like I have a windbreaker on. 
off to fight crime. <laughs> the style of it, I'm taking off points because uh, I think I, it could be better. So like a six out of 10 and then does it fit? No, so zero out of 10. <laughs> like, come on, when it's plus size, you have to put in a little bit of stretch, like a little bit of movement, even if it's a corset, like, come on, how are we supposed to get it on? Is it my style? Not really, but I dig it. So like a 10 out of 10, cause I might get another one. I have some lounge shorts. I just thought they were cute, but I don't know. Now I'm looking at them, not so much. I'm trying to give it a fighting chance by putting on one of my favorite t-shirts and it's just not working. Look how it looks on the model. Like it looks so cute on her and on me, I just, mm -mm. I mean, there's a reason why I don't wear white. I'm, I'm pale. <laughs> <laughs> for one and it does show like it accentuates everything and it's also like a very odd fit like it's doing no no favors as the people on tiktok would say it's not giving what it was supposed to give we have two more items let's go we're almost done this dress i did try on the other day so hashtag sorry not sorry was also excited about this one. It's a textured button down smock dress and I did get it a size up in a 20. The fabric, five out of 10, but I'll try it on for you regardless. I do like the way that it sits, it's kind of like a tea dress. I um, had one very similar to this and I do like how loose it is. If you want something loose, definitely size up because I feel that if I had just gotten my size, it would fit more like this, a little bit more structured. Yeah, I think this would be a good work dress because it does have a V-neck, but it's not too low. And then it does almost go down to my knees. Do you guys even know me? Of course I got a swimsuit, of course. This is the plus size tie back bikini set in blue. It really reminds me of the airy swimsuit that I tried on. It's like that same color and it doesn't have any padding. That's the only issue. I really like to have padding in my swimsuits and then the bottoms just have a little tie and I did like that they're kind of like a high cut action i think i have to keep my hands here because you know i don't want youtube to take this down or flag it and i have nips so <laughs> we're just gonna do this i definitely love the color again i don't like that it doesn't have cups because i need a little bit of extra help in that area i have asymmetry i have why can I never say it? I have asymmetrical boobs, so I just like them to look a little bit more even and cups usually help with that. Otherwise, I would be like, if you don't care about cups, it is a really nice set. I like that it has the little ties on the side. It's definitely giving a little bit of cheek in the back. We're not gonna show. You get the picture. The material is nice. I really like the style of it. I would give that like a 10 out of 10 because I could definitely see myself wearing something like this to the pool, to the beach, that kind of thing. But then I just feel a little uncomfortable. So maybe I should knock off like a point. Yeah, like a nine out of 10. That is it for the haul. My final thoughts are, I think I'm only gonna keep that one dress that's like a picnic-y style. It stole my heart <laughs> and I'm really trying to be cutthroat. So I didn't 100% love any of the other pieces. So they're going back. I will see about their return policy. Hopefully it's good. Let me know. Have you guys tried out Nasty Gal? What are your thoughts? Leave it in the comments down below. I hope you have a great day and I will see you again next time. Bye.